Now prepare yourself for suspense, drama and very high emotions in tonight's episode of the hospital drama Holby City. In last week's cliffhanger, nurse Trisha and husband Mark were injured in a devastating car crash at the end of their honeymoon. Mm, this week the team attempt to save Trisha's life but soon emotions reach fever pitch as her situation deteriorates. But who's to blame? We'll be chatting to the actors Sharon Warren and Robert Powell. Uh, first, so let's take a look at tonight's episode. I can't believe Trisha. A delay may affect alcohol levels. I'm arresting you on suspicion of drink driving. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. I haven't got crazy. Please, Mark, don't make this difficult. Trish, sweetheart, I've got to go to the police station. But before you know it, I promise. Take a nice deep breath for me, Trisha. Come on. You have to let me breathe. Dad! Look after you, Mum! Trisha? I failed the breathalyzer, Liv. Stay with us, darling, that's it. I'm so sorry. We're nearly there. We're done. Thank you, Leah. Stand by. One, three. One, two, three. Easy. Oh, it's mm. all grisly stuff. And the actors at the centre of that explosive storyline, Sharon Moore and Robert Powell, was... Good morning. Good morning. It's, well, Good morning. It's two very contrasting performances there, because you spend the programme rushing around like a mad thing, and... <laughs> You, have I don't. A, you take it very easily. <laughs> <laughs> she gets to lie down. <laughs> yes, yes. it's a change in three and a half years <laughs> to lie down through a whole episode. It's mm. been a somewhat complicated relationship that you have, uh, and with your daughter as well, we saw there. So perhaps you could just take us back a bit and maybe give us a brief synopsis of the lives that you've been leading <laughs> over the past three years, if you, if you could. Well, our lives have only overlapped over the last two, uh, one and a half years, something like that. Uh, yeah, apart from uh, the early days of our, the beginnings of our marriage as, uh, as teenagers, we, um, I got thrown out um, and then vanished for 25 years and then came back. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and I don't know, I guess it was a bad marriage when we were young and I, I, um, we went our separate ways. And um, now we're just, we've just got married again because I got very ill, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> and I think he felt very sorry for me. And decided to marry me and make an honest woman of me. Oh, it's because I loved you. No. <laughs> and then it was, but there was a there was a sort of maternity secret, wasn't there? Yes. I, 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 I was trying to consider. It gave me a headache just thinking about it. Oh, don't. But who knew what? You should have tried acting it. <laughs> 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 um, yes, it was the fact that the the girl who is my daughter is not my daughter because um, my wife was. Um, what can, it was raped by my father, and therefore my daughter is my half sister. Right. But don't. It, no. When I was a very, very young thing, right. when we yes. were dating, he seduced me and raped me. And in those days, you were too ashamed to even mention that word. Now, you probably didn't even know what it was, you know. Um, and um, so I'd lived with this secret all, all my life and all my maternal life with this daughter. <laughs> I've let her believe that this is her father. Maybe I believed it a bit myself. I know it's too complicated for words. Yes. I, know, I mean, it's, it's a very interesting one to, to tackle. As, mm. You know, I'm just wondering what it's like as, as actors, but you also have then, uh, um, uh, interesting was the word I was going to use, but that's not the best word really, with your daughter, with, because you didn't behave very well there either, did you? In terms uh, at the beginning. Yeah. Yes, we're not a very... Um, yeah, you're you the moral, <laughs> don't you? Um, yes, when I arrived on set, on, se on the scene, it was uh, very quickly that I decided to seduce my daughter's husband. And we had an affair. But uh, I think they were technically uh, separated at the time. Yes. But I did have a good so lot of fun with my daughter's background, husband. background, really, for Sets what? a precedent. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. in yeah. this cliffhanger episode, which is, is going out tonight, you are, in fact, you're on your way to your... You're about to go on your honeymoon, mm -hmm. and uh, then you're involved in this car accident. You think it's your fault, and it might be, and it might not be, and then you're very, very badly injured, and we wonder if you're going to... Well, the crisis about going on this honeymoon is that my daughter wouldn't speak to me just before going on the honeymoon, yes. mm. um, because um, she was very cross. I hadn't w told her that I'd been ill when I was trying to be overprotective towards her. So just at the point of the, of the crash, I was about to call her, just to make connection with her because we hadn't managed to do anything um, warm to each other before. So it didn't yes. quite happen because then the and crash... The moral of the story is don't use a mobile phone in a car, even if you're a passenger. Yeah, well, it seems to be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because there's, they're obviously a magnet and they draw cars to crash into you yes. or something. Let's take another look at tonight's <laughs> episode. My beautiful girl. Oh. Oh. 
I, I don't have my reference. Okay. Come on! BP's dropping. I'll tell you Trace is flattening. No, no, don't do this. Mark? She was awake and talking just a minute ago. It might be a reactionary bleed. We need to get more fluids into her. She's in VF. No. Mark, please get out of the way. Dad, please. please move. Mark. Charge 200. Yes, you can. Stand clear. And uh, yes, then they give you a spark or two. Um, I was intrigued watching that is to, because it happened several times, and your body leaps off the table. How did they you push it. you up from a knee? Or did you you've got to do, do it. You just leap yourself off the table. <laughs> I do have to say it was really, really hard filming all this. It was really hard filming the crash. And Robert and I, after we'd done the crash, I don't want to kind of break into a tear, but we stood there, didn't we, when the stuntmen did it. We'd already done it, I think. And, and then we stood and witnessed what we are part of in this story. And it was really hard and emotional, wasn't it? Was Obviously terrible. because it was so difficult and it was, it was a bleak feeling. Uh, Obviously because of our characters, but you know, just to think that this can happen in mm. a split second to anybody. Mm. So mm. absolutely, be really cautious when driving a car. You, mm. And this time of year, with the drinking and everything, it's like it is a, there is like a, that. There is a more you home. get oh, in, in a second, horrible. everything can go. A, in a in a heartbeat, less than a heartbeat. It was a big shock, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Anyway, we get to witness it all tonight, mm. don't we? Yep, you do. And Holby said he's on at what time? Remind me. It's on at 8 o'clock of a Tuesday night. Yeah. Excellent. All right, then. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.